So this is the nail polish I um, brought with me. It's red. And as you can see, I love good nails. And sometimes they are red and sometimes not, sometimes blue. And I thought, okay, what can I do with nail polish in my school with my students and get to theories um, yeah, where you can explain a lot. So that's what I want to show you. Um, we all know that when we have nail polish on our nails, we can remove it with uh, a solvent. And the solvent we uh, use for nail polish is acetone. So I will put some nail polish in this cup. And I brought some acetone with me. And I will pour the acetone with the nail polish. As you can see, we get a nice solvent of red polish and acetone. And yeah, the weather here is terrible, so we love the colors. Because here it's raining for almost now several weeks. So when you can give the classroom some nice colors, it's uh, very cheerful. So now I have a nice red fluid. And yeah, when we have nail polish, uh, we can't remove it with water. But I also brought some water with me. And this water is, of course, transparent with no color. And I want to give it what color before I show the experiment. So I will put this off. And the color I will use is blue. It's um, a color uh, for um, food coloring. So you can use it in cake or bread or something to make in the kitchen little bit and I put some water in it and then you see a nice blue color so the next question will be what if I mix these two up what will happen So a red fluid and a blue fluid, and now I will mix them together. And then we will see what happens. The red one, the acetone with the nail polish. And the blue one, and I will add it. As you can see, it mixes up perfectly and it gives a little bit of a purple color. Yeah, the blue color was like this. And the red was like this. The second question is, what will happen if we add salt to this mixture? So we have this mixture. What will happen if we pour like four spoons of salt in this glass with a mixture of acetone and water. I will just pour it like this. That's better. I put a lot of salt in it. So I pour some salt in it. Now I will mix it better. And David earlier told us something about salt and what it does when you put it in water. I hope this will be made to the right time. As you can see, the mixture is separated separating from each other. The red will come on top of the blue. The blue was the water, the colored water. And this is the nail polish with the acetone. 
So the salt interacts with the mixture and let it separate from each other, but not like 50-50. Yeah, I had 50 milliliters of water and 50 milliliters of acetone. And you see the separation is a little bit higher, not like 50-50%. So now I will ask my student what is happening? Why uh, are these two separated from each other? We know that water molecules can bond to each other with hydrogen bonds. You see it like in the animation. And acetone has a, like a carbon skeleton who is non-polar, but the uh, O atom is polar. Water is also polar, and we know from polar and polar that they mix well together. And the structure formula is from both of them, you see in the screen, um, they can form bonds to each other because the acetone has an O in it, which is polar, and water molecules are also polar. So click the button, please. And you see that the line between the H from the water and the O from the acetone molecule will find their way to each other because the uh, H of the water molecule is a little bit positive charged and the O of the acetone is a little bit negative charged. And they will find each other by interacting because positive and negative will uh, search each other up. Okay. So I have an animation. This animation shows the water molecules when we have only water. When we pour acetone in it, they will mix well together because of the hydrogen bonds. But when we all add salt, the interaction changes between the particles. David already told uh, us that when we have salt and we uh, solve it in water, the bond has to break and when the bond breaks from salt the ionic bond we have a positive nitrogen uh, nitrium ion and a, plus, a negative chloride ion and the water molecules will search for these particles um, the water molecules from the nat the sodium uh, ion they will hydrate the ion with its oxygen atom so when you have a positive charge, the O atom of the water molecule will find its way to sodium ion. And in the chloride, it's the other way around. So the hyd hydrogen bonds will break down and that will, that will bring the acetone molecules again uh, to each other. And because of the density, where they will go on the upper layer and uh, the water will go down at the bottom. So you see here, le left from the screen, the solution I created here. And uh, in the right way, you saw yeah, on a molecule level what is happening. And you can do this with uh, other colors. Here I also also have one. This is the water, this is the acetone, it was also, uh, it was blue polish, nail polish, and this was yellow food coloring. And when we mix these two, you get green. And here is the salt already added, so they will separate immediately.